Hi guys, I'm Catherine, and in this video I'm gonna paint two cute toads in very interesting watercolor technique called white on white, or maybe it's simplified version. First, when you transfer a drawing to paper, make it as soft as possible. The pencil line should be barely noticeable, as there won't be enough dark shades that can cover it. Also, make sure that you stretched the paper with tape and board to prevent the surface from bending. Typically, this technique helps to achieve the effect of unreliable lightness and delicacy with gentle transitions and subtle nuances. But here I do not set myself such a direct task. I will draw in a more decorative and cartoonish style. Perhaps this is not the best demonstration of this technique, but anyway, I will tell you about those aspects that I encountered in my process. The main idea of this technique is to make really light illustration, to leave blank paper in the lead spaces and gradually show the shape of the objects by filling the shadow areas with a small amount of pigment. Talking about the color. You know, white color is not really white. It always assumes the shades of color of its surroundings. So it can be warm or cold or maybe green or yellow or any color. I want to make my painting in cool tones. So I'll be working mainly with blue color. Ideally, I would like to think through my illustration from the beginning to the end, to have complete control over how the elements appear, but in fact it rarely happened. Therefore each illustration becomes a kind of experiment for me. In this art it was about the bushes, I'd rather use masking fluid for the branches, but it ended, and I had to decide how they would look like during the process. I tried to erase the pigment with very soft eraser, and it works for this time. For this technique it's more typical to work by layers, and you should better do the whole illustration at once. What I mean? Fill the first object with very pale color, then do it with the second object, then the third and etc. Then dry the painting and start applying new layers, darkening each of the pieces at once. In this way you can watch the appearing of whole illustration. So you have more control over the color balance, contrast and detailing. You do not need to completely draw one object first, then another. In this way there is a high risk that you cannot guess with the required depth of shade in some element. The picture will lose its harmony, and to fix it, you will have to fit the whole illustration to the toe, so the picture may turn out to be too dark. So it's better to make it paler than brighter. You can always go back and add another layer. If you accidentally overshadow the illustration, there is still the solution. Wash off the paint from the whole picture under the cold water. Your artwork will lose some pigment and becomes lighter. It will allow you to restart covering tones. But I must say, this is not the best variant, so just try not to do it. Not to fail your work. About the materials, I use Hanemuri, Hanemude, Hanemuda paper collection. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. 
and my watercolors are white knights. I mostly use this brand because maybe it became some kind of habit. It's the most popular professional watercolor paints in Russia, I think. But lately I started to use also Van Gogh and Rembrandt paints. And now I'm waiting for my order with few samples of other brands from Aliexpress. I want to try something new. And back to the painting. There is one good tip for this technique. Try to put objects with light areas on the shaded areas to make your illustration more expressive. I do it here by placing the illuminated backs of animals on the shaded areas of bushes. It highlights the whole figure and put it in the foreground. I decided to add brown color to the bushes. Such an active pattern will help to further highlight the characters. 
emphasizing their calm texture. And also it will support the color of tails. Okay, and here is the final result. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. And if you do, I'll be very happy if you subscribe. So, see you in the next video. Bye.